This little maths lesson is all about how to convert from centimetres to millimetres. This is something that's quite tricky because we haven't used rulers and millimetres a lot. On my ruler, you can see that I've got the centimetres. I've got from zero to one centimetre, one to two, two to three. All of these little lines in between are worth one millimetre. So the first really important thing to know is how many millimetres are the same as one centimetre. So one centimetre is the same as 10 millimetres. That means for each of the little centimetres on my ruler, there are 10 millimetres in between it. 10 millimetres, 20, 30, 40 and so on. If you haven't already watched my video on timesing and dividing by 10, I would pause this video now and go back and look at that one because that one will help you with the next steps. Okay, so come back to this one afterwards. Brilliant. Right, what we are going to do, we know that one centimetre is 10 millimetres. That means this number is 10 times bigger than this one. One times 10 makes 10. So if you have a number in centimetres and you want to know how many millimetres it is, all you have to do is take that number and times it by 10. And you should have just gone back and watched my video on how to do that. So we know that we need to move our digits one place value to the left and put a placeholder on the end. So we're moving this 10 into the hundreds column. We're moving this two into the tens column and we're putting a placeholder on the end and we're not forgetting our millimetres, otherwise we don't know what we're measuring. 120 millimetres is the same as 12 centimetres because this number is 10 times bigger than this number. Same here, we've got 29 centimetres, so to work out how many millimetres that is, we times it by 10, which makes 290 millimetres. Again, 46 centimetres to work out how many millimetres we times it by 10. The 4 becomes 400, the 6 becomes 6 tens and we add a placeholder on the end. So let's say instead we know how many millimetres we've got and we want to work backwards to work out how many centimetres we've got. Again we are now dividing by 10 which you should have just seen in the last video. Each of these numbers we have to divide by 10. That means they are getting 10 times smaller and each digit is moving one place to the right, which means that the two would move into the tens column, the zero would move into the ones column, and this zero has disappeared because we're not looking at decimals. And then we're gonna put on units of measure on the end. So 200 millimeters, 20 centimeters. Again, on this one, we're gonna move each digit one place to the right. So 400 becomes 40, six tens becomes six ones and the zero we disappear it 46 centimeters is the same as 460 millimeters 910 millimeters again if we're dividing it by 10 it becomes 91 centimeters so if you have a question that is asking you to order lengths and you have got some that are written in centimeters and some that are written in millimetres. It's really hard to work out which one's bigger and which one's smaller. So my first step, my first piece of advice would be make them all in the same measurement. Either make them all centimetres or make them all millimetres. I'm going to put them all into centimetres. I've got two centimetres and 12 centimetres, so those ones are fine. To get this into centimetres, I'm going to divide it by 10. So the 4 would move from the 10s column to the 1s column, and the 0 is going to disappear. So that is worth 4 centimetres. Again, I've got to divide this by 10, which means that that is worth 6 centimetres. Now I know all of the units and all of the numbers are in the same units, I can order them. So I can say 2 centimetres is the smallest, then 40 millimetres, then 60 millimetres, then my biggest is 12 centimetres. It is a lot easier to compare something if they are in the same units rather than these different units. That makes it really difficult to work out the bigger and the smaller numbers.